Hey, you like the, like, like the video, man. It was good, low key squad. The boy is back, and I just want to say something real quick. In life, it's up to you to make your decisions on where you want to go in life and what you want to do. A lot of times, one thing I've been peeping just off of the environments I've been around, the energy I've been around, it's something about Gen Z and my I'm in Gen Z as well too. But I feel like, especially because of social media, a lot of us feel like we need this level of dependency. And of course, we're all like dependent in some degree or to some right, you know what I mean? Until we get to that level of independency. But I feel like sometimes we need to be 100% with the decisions that we feel like a lot of times in your inner core, you're going to feel like you want to do this, that and the third, but you don't end up doing it because you start to think about other people's perspective. Oh, will I make it? Will I not make it? And at the end of the day, if this idea were to even dawn upon your mind to a point where you thought about it to a deeper extent than just the surface level, you're excited, like you get some sense of a dopamine hit just from thinking and knowing, or sometimes it's not even just about the fulfillment as far as dopamine, but you just want to, you just want to follow through with something that's been on your mind because you just know that this can work. Like in your mind, you're thinking like, I know this can work. But when you tell the other people, they think it's ridiculous. And I'm just here to tell you that you do need to make your own decision. That's like one of the biggest parts of growing up, standing 10 toes in what you believe in, whether it's gonna fail, whether there's some level of uncertainty, whatever the case may be, because at the end of the day, you know what you want. You had this visualization and even if it's not a dream, it's like you just know certain things is gonna work when people believe it's probably not, or they want you to do things their way. That's the thing about life. Look at us in this digital age, what's going on in the media. There is not one way to do things. There's not one way to get into this thing, that thing, or the third. Sure, there's blueprints. You know, there are finite things, like I guess, you know, being like a doctor and stuff, but who knows, maybe sometime in the future, they might find a way to bypass that too. You know what I'm saying? We, we've come from, not our era, but we come from a world where like people have made ground staking, you know, pivotal, pivotal points in life. You know what I'm saying? Like creating light bulbs, creating the structure of houses, technology advancements. It's like, you have to stand 10 toes on the decisions you make. It doesn't even have to be this hierarchy, big goal or whatever, but even for that as well, you have to. Because at the end of the day, that defines you and you just have to follow through with it no matter what comes your way, no matter the storms, no matter what because i've been through a lot of scenarios in life where people were saying stop what you're doing it's ridiculous don't even do it do it this way i still got my results and half the time it doesn't happen on the timing that you want it but if you follow through and you keep going day after day week after week you will get those results that you rightfully deserve so based on that you just got to keep going that's going to be what's going to make it happen at the end of the day so you just got to make your own decision that idea that move that risk it, if it came into your mind for a reason you know what you have to do don't think about anyone else don't even think about entirely how it's going to affect everyone else do what's right for you and let the results speak for itself. If it fails, it fails. You know what I'm saying? A lot of us, I'm pretty sure the majority of people watching this, like we're all under 30, most likely. 
So we have time to pick up the pieces of whatever crumbles. But because of that, there is destruction and like comfort, you know what I mean? So you got to make sure that you're trying, you're aiming for everything you want into this life. If it fails, it fails, but at least you did it. At least you're not going to be 65, 70. If you make it past 80 on your deathbed thinking, what if I went for that opportunity? What if I wanted to fully make content before I got stuck into this one job that caused me so much stress and you know took up everything? You know what I'm saying? Because like I said, think about it like this. This world is designed in a way where regardless of what's going on, we're gonna be working these nine to fives. We're probably gonna work somewhere we don't like to work at. Um, you know, everyone's gonna tell you to do the same thing. You know, in this life, I realize, you know, just look at anybody, you know, look at J. Cole, Will Smith, anybody who's like pretty much up there. You gotta be an anomaly. If you want to be something greater than what your current circumstances is, you have to be an anomaly. You have to go against the odds. You have to beat the odds, pretty much. You can't do the regular shit that everyone does because that's the standard. If you get my drift, that's the standard. Even if you went to, you know what I'm saying, do full-on content creation, entertainment, you want to be a choreographer or whatever, you know what I mean? Like, whatever the case is, whatever you want, and it doesn't work, you still have the option to do everything else to everyone. Like, cause the world is designed for you to do that regardless. So you have all the reasonings to go outside of that spectrum of the norm. <laughs> because if it works, hey man, whole nother lifestyle. If it doesn't work, hey, you're just doing the standard like you were supposed to do anyways. So I say at the end of the day, you know, you gotta stand on business and you gotta, you gotta make your own decisions. A lot of times you wanna do certain things, you wanna keep asking people for their level of support or their take on things. And sometimes there is nothing wrong with that. But if you don't have that inner core foundation of your own being of like, I do this, that, and the third in decision making, especially if you're trying to aim for something higher than regular, do what it takes make your own decision sometimes there's decisions that are hard but you know internally you have to do this if you don't do it it's not gonna work you're not even gonna be in like you know phase two because you didn't make this decision because sometimes you need the time space resources finances yeah, like i'm saying if you're trying to go on some top tier shit in order to make that shit happen for you and if you don't allow yourself that space if you don't allow yourself the opportunity to just keep saying no, I don't know if opportunity was the right word, but if you don't have the willpower to say no, you don't have the willpower to sustain from the worldly pleasures or instant gratification, you're always gonna go back to step one. Or you're going to be in a constant loop. You're going to stay stagnant without even fucking knowing it. And this life is all about leveling up. And it's so funny because, you know, there's the new anime out, like, solo leveling. I feel like that even just watching that kind of reinstated my thoughts, too. Like, in this life, we have to keep being better. It's never enough. Even if you get to the point where you wanted to get at, that's still not enough. You have to keep going. You have to keep wanting to get better. Look at even all these YouTubers. A lot of these YouTubers already hit 1 million. They're still making videos. They're still... You know, some some of them, I ain't gonna lie, it has decreased over the years, but even after the point of one million, they still were making like popping videos that get a million of views and stuff. The journey never ends, you have to keep going. But it's also important to make sure that you have that core level of, you know, your foundations. So, you know what I'm saying? If you're feeling like you're, you know, your back is against the wall, you wanna do something that no one in your environment agrees with, supports you with, whatever because there's some people that are like that and there's some people who do have the support on the end there's some people who got the support but the people around them aren't going to do anything to contribute into what they're doing maybe they'll share the post but are they gonna you know if you're a content creator are they gonna record your videos are they going to be a part of your videos you know what i mean and it's not like it always has to be that but 
especially to get closer into something that's outside of the spectrum of the norm or something in the fields of creativity where your work is your time instead of like, you know, these other regular jobs where you just, you stand and you go someplace, you might talk to some people, you might clean up some stuff and you know, you make your money. I ain't gonna lie, easy money, but there's reasons why people go for stuff like art, drama, choreography, you know what I'm saying? Singing, rapping. It's because it's something they enjoy. There is a passion behind it. One of the things is a lot of us aren't even really lazy. Laziness comes from a sense of lacking energy. You could be lacking vitamins. You could probably not be getting enough sleep. You haven't adapted into certain routines and habits in order to make you get to a point where you're just constantly doing things. You need to strengthen your productivity level in order for you to you know knock out the laziness and a lot of times the laziness comes from a sense of you don't have a strong emotional attachment to the things that you need to do not to say you need to have that but that sense of urgency that sense of emotional value towards what you're doing this is what creates passion this is what creates work ethic this is what creates a reason to keep going. And as long as you can find something within your being to build those virtues within yourself so that you can go into a routine. And a routine is always gonna be hard in the beginning. Even when you're doing it, it's like sometimes it's gonna feel weird. It could take a simple phone call from your friends. Hey, you wanna hang out, go to Wendy's? You wanna hang out, watch this movie? And then, you know what I'm saying? You, you broke your streak. Now you gotta start from the ground up. Until you have that foundation fully set, in my opinion, I don't even think you should really dwell into what's going on in the outside world. But that's just me though. You should isolate to some degree if you are one of those people who feel very dependent on you know your circumstances. But at the end of the day, you need to make the decisions that's right for you and you need to stand on your decisions because standing on your decisions will define who you are as a being. It will create more independency within yourself and you will become more respectful out of the things that you do and the things that you stand on. So at the end of the day, my message for y'all today is, like I said, stand on business, make your own decisions and follow through with it. Because at the end of the day in this world, it's only about you. I mean, it's all about you. It's your life and you are the control of your destiny. So don't let all these people stray, stray you away from what you gotta do. Do the work, follow through it, make your own decisions. And I say the decisions things for so many reasons because a lot of times your parents could tell you like, oh, go to college for nursing, doctor, start a, you know, go for business and stuff. And I'm not gonna say there's anything wrong with that but you need to know that you have a reasoning behind what you're doing. Are you doing this because that's what you wanna do? Are you doing that because you found, you done research and you realize, okay, this can benefit me in this way, that way. I can do these skills. If you have that within yourself, then yes, follow through and you know stand on it. But if you want something that goes against the odds, and this is speaking for creatives because clearly even from my environment i can understand that only creatives can understand what i'm saying other people outside obviously can understand you know everybody has like you know mental comprehension but they don't feel that emotional discomfort that emotional attachment to something that seems so unattainable no that seems so unrealistic but possibly attainable you just got to do that work in between you just got to stand on business and follow through make every decision necessary to get to where you need to get to in life. It may upset some people. It may mean letting go of the old you, your old habits, anything fun and pleasurable until things are finite. But at the end of the day, you gotta do it. Cause if you don't, you're living the standard. At least the other way you have the option to do other things and if it fails, you do the standard because <laughs> that's there but you'll put yourself in a in a you'll put yourself in a situation where all you have is the standard so if you have a decision embark on it you know what i'm saying and do your research 
You know, because a lot of people have told me about a lot of different things, even like career wise and stuff. Some things sound good, but I do need to do my research as well, too. I'm just a passionate guy. But at the end of the day, follow through your decisions. Make sure you do the things that are right for you, even if it makes other people upset and you know, just make it happen. Just make it happen. That's all I gotta say. Ask me if you were someone I should have messed with. To be honest, I don't even know. I just go with the flow. Keeping up my homes. Don't regret what I did.